Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of December 14th through the 20th. Now, this is a very powerful week considering we have a new moon and a solar eclipse, so this ought to be very interesting. So, what do we have for Aquarius? For the week of December 14th through the 20th, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have? One card for an overall energy, please. What do we have? One card, not a pile. One card. The Fool. Now, the Fool is uh, starting a new journey. Okay, it's about having faith being carefree, uh, starting over, starting from scratch, you know, not having any worries, moving forward in faith, okay? Uh, leaving something behind, leaving a mess behind, perhaps. Um, this is a spur of the moment thing. It's like the storm is over. It's, it's time to go someplace else. This is an exciting opportunity. So this is an exciting new beginning for you. Um, it's an exciting new time. I mean, we have a fresh start here. Um, no worries, nothing to worry about. Okay. You're, you're starting a new journey. You're going someplace. This is exciting. So this is, this is great. It is, it's, it's great. Um, positive energy. Okay. Um, this is taking a risk. You may be taking a big risk this week. Uh, zero is, is, but is before one. So this is like, Really, really, really starting from the beginning, starting a new project, starting a new endeavor, starting a new chapter, um, stepping into new territory with blind faith, having no fear. So, you know, uh, it's a very carefree energy, acting on impulse, you know, so you may be doing something that you know, this is this is motion. It's taking action. It's doing something. It's not standing still. Okay, you're you're really really starting a new project during this time. You're starting a new journey. So, one card in regards to your relationship. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So consider that an advice card. Love yourself first. You know, I mean, the card speaks for itself. You definitely have a new beginning here. It's the beginning of something prominent with that fool card. That one flipped over. I think you're stepping into uncharted territory. We got quite a few. We're taking them all. That's what's happening here. You're stepping into uh, unknown territory. Yeah. And you're being called to take a risk. This is exciting. Let this excitement happen. Don't let fear stand in your way. Do it. Step forward in blind faith. Okay. Desk. Pay attention to your work. Horseshoe, good luck. Rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross is around you. Cane, pay attention to your health. Basket, that's the one, first one that fell out. Recognition, reward for merit. So you're going to get some sort of recognition this week. You are. You do need to pay attention to your health. And I kind of saw it here as well. Make sure you look where you're going. Okay, look where you're going. You could fall. Just saying. Anyhow, we have an arrogant, boastful person here. Good luck is on your side, and you need to really pay attention to your work. And what I see is that you need to, that's where I feel like you could run into a problem, is at your work. It feels like you go, you, if you go to work, you know, really pay attention because you could, you could run into a problem. Maybe it's with this boastful person. I don't know. Could be. Um... Anyway, 
Yeah, I think that's what the case is. Anyhow, some of you are going to be doing your own thing with that Fool card. That's leaving something behind. It is. It's like starting a new journey, not taking any of that shit with you, taking very little, taking your experiences and starting over someplace else. So that could be the case. This one just came out. Three of Cups reversed. So there could be parting ways. Parting ways with people you work with. Parting ways with family. Parting ways with friends. Um, there could be a miscommunication here. Or there's a third party situation. Maybe maybe you find out about that. I don't know. Um, Three of Cups reversed is oh, a termination perhaps. Or um, gossip. I don't know if there's gossip. Or there's, there even could be some cheating. But this party is over. Okay, with the Three of Cups reversed. This is parting ways. Going your own way. You're probably going to be parting ways with somebody. Um, Eight of Cups. I think you've been thinking about it for quite some time. Thinking about leaving with the Eight of Cups reversed. The Eight of Cups reversed is pretending to be happy. Somebody, whether it's you or another person, whether it's in a job or relationship, has been pretending to be happy. They're, they're, they've been staying, a put, avo staying put and avoiding, avoiding moving on, avoiding moving on, refusing to move on. Um, maybe there is a lack of self-love. Somebody may have been even thinking about going back, going back to somebody that cheated. I don't know. You know, it's like this is a wild goose chase back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, I think you have been going back and forth, forth, and maybe this is a week where you start to love yourself first. You know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna keep going back and forth with somebody. I do feel like there's emotional um, weakness here with these two cards. Okay, this is emotional. There's a lack of emotional growth here. Somebody's been staying in a situation that is not emotionally fulfilling, and they may be leaving it behind. Whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. Um, Knight of Cups reversed. Now the Knight of Cups reversed is not interested in a relationship. It's, it's one-sided. It's uh, not focused on love. Okay, but There's definitely gossip here as well. You may hear something. You may hear some gossip. There could be some tears that are shed. There could be an emotional outburst. Somebody could be throwing a tantrum. There's delusions. There's somebody that sweeps, sweeps problems under the rug. Um, Maybe there's been a one night stand or there's been some cheating. There's been some lying. There's been some deception. You know, so I feel like there is. I feel like there's somebody here that may have, uh, you know, cheated. There could also be some unwanted attention. Somebody could be getting attention that they don't want. They're not looking for a relationship. Um, not looking for a relationship by the looks of things. Not wanting to be in a, this relationship. There's, there's some sort, somebody may, may have come in and swept you off their feet and they're not all that they cracked up to be. They may have been involved with a third party, maybe even the whole time. Um, very, very cunning, crafty individual here that speaks of love, but those are just words. So that's interesting. Nine of Cups reversed. There's some sort of dissatisfaction. This is a, uh, well, it's sad. I mean, the Nine of Cups reversed is, is uh, unable to give or receive love. Maybe you, you haven't been receiving love or whoever you're with hasn't been able to give it. There's a lack of inner happiness. Uh, there's, there's a lack of success. It feels like something is being overlooked. There's, somebody's not getting any praise. They're not getting any, any, uh, appreciation um, I feel like I feel like there's somebody here that probably wishes that they didn't get into a relationship with somebody but they did and now they're having a hard time breaking free but this is freedom okay that fool card is freedom there could so there could also be sex without love I'm, I'm just being honest here somebody may have been having sex with somebody there's no love um, I feel like there's emotion. There's there's somebody here that is emotionally dysfunctional, functional, or emotionally unavailable, and and there's 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 a mistake, and somebody's been covering up. They've been covering up a mistake and pretending that they're happy. Um, I just feel like it's about to come to a head. It's 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 about to. Uh, this whole f uh, facade is about to be cracked open you know and I don't even need the 
tower card to see that. There's definitely a, like a bubble burst. Somebody's bubble is about to be burst. Okay. Or they're going to be deflated. You know, the bubble is going to, or the balloon or whatever is going to be deflated. And I feel like it's going to be deflated because I feel like there's going to be, I feel like there's somebody around you that you can't, that you can't trust. I feel like, uh, You've been contemplating whether you can trust them or not. I feel like you've been going back and forth on this. I feel like uh, there's some deep dissatisfaction. Uh, I feel like there's cheating here, and I hate to say that, but I do feel like there's cheating. Uh, five of Cups, now this is grieving, it's grieving, it's sad, it's regrets, having regrets, wishing this didn't happen, wishing I would have never got into this. You know, there could be, this could be like even a social disaster as well. You know, now, now this is like, um, worried about what everybody else is going to say. Anyhow, this five of cups is, is sadness. It's grieving. It's mourning over a loss. There could be angry anger or deep sorrow. And I feel like we have somebody here that is having a lot of regrets, maybe even blaming themselves, blaming themselves for a relationship that isn't working out. Um, you have to do what's right for you. You have to do what's right for you. Don't worry about what everybody else has to say. Okay? We have this uh, recognition, recognition, reward for merit. You, you will be recognized for your nobility. You will be recognized for your uh, ability to love yourself first. If you do what's right for you, people will respect you for that. Rather than staying in a loveless situation. Somebody here is in a loveless situation. They absolutely are. And they've been staying in it because... <laughs> they're too afraid to walk away. They're too worried about what society is going to say. But I feel as though this week you're going to be, well, there's, there's facing fears with that fool card. That is becoming fearless. It's leaving something behind out of self-love. So you, you're going to be, whether, I don't know what it is, but you're going to be leaving something behind. This is a relationship that is one-sided, you know? This is parting ways, whether it's friends, family, a lover, something like that. Um, it's been it's been thought about. Okay, it's been thought about. Um, yeah, two of swords reverse. This is becoming clear. It is. This is coming out of denial. This is lies being exposed. This is some sort of exposure, a secret being revealed. Something that something is about to be revealed. There's there is or it has been. It has been so there's there's some sort of um, blocked emotions here somebody's been pretending definitely they have been pretending they've been but now they're seeing the truth the truth is being seen and I think it's overwhelming and I think there's a lot of fear and I'm rubbing my chest there's a lot of fear and there's a lot of worry and there's a lot of anxiety and you know this is too much I feel like it's too much. I feel like you're going to get some information that causes you a lot of mental turmoil and makes you want to walk away. But worrying about, you know, what everybody else is going to say is the biggest problem here. That's what I see. So I feel like this week is a week of growth for you, it is a week of facing your fears, it is a week of, ste of stepping into unknown territory, leaving something behind out of self-love. I do see sadness, I see grieving, I see uh, disillusionment, false impressions, okay? This is what this is. This is this is disillusionment and false impressions. It is. And sadness. There's no reason to stay in a sad situation. I mean, there's lack of happiness here. So I do, I do feel sadness. I do feel tears. I feel tears as somebody is... Uh, and it's very spur of the moment. I feel like there's a spur of the moment decision to just leave. Somebody makes a spur of the moment decision to leave a situation behind out of self-love. I feel like uh, that's what we got here. I mean, if you are single and watching this, you may have a new beginning. You may have a new beginning, but I feel like it's by yourself. I feel like it's out of a new beginning, you know, in regards to starting a new journey, starting from scratch, you know, loving yourself fully. But I, I don't feel like there's a new relationship coming in. I feel like this is a time of spiritual growth, you know, starting a new spiritual journey by yourself by yourself. I don't, I don't, I don't feel like this is, I feel like this is leaving behind a partner, honestly. 
a partner that somebody is not happy with anymore. It's built, been built on false pretenses. It has. And I feel like it is a time, if you think about good luck, you think about the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, if Wheel of Fortune is the good luck card in the, in the tarot. That is a change in direction. Okay, but it's the end of a cycle. Okay, so I feel like we have a cycle that is coming to an end. I feel like, uh, and a new one is beginning. And I think it's, it's, it's beginning as soon as you take that step in a new direction. You are going to be taking a step in a new direction. You absolutely are. Whether, whether uh, another person is doing it and it forces you to take that step or you're taking it on your own. I mean, that Fool card is a card of movement and it's exciting. Okay, this is an exciting new beginning for you. Um, really pay attention. Pay attention to uh, where you're going. Don't, don't, don't hold on to the past. Leave the past behind. Leave it there. Leave it there. Take the experiences and move forward. That's my advice. This is affecting your health. Whoever you're dealing with is affecting your health. It's causing you stress. It's causing you a lot of mental turmoil. And I think you've been torn You with that Two of Swords. That's torn. Torn in two different directions. And with the Eight of Cups reversed. Should I go? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I stay? But there's been an element of denial. You know, unable to see the truth or accept the truth. Wearing a blindfold. You know, I don't want to believe this, so I'm going to pretend. And there's a lot of pretending here. There is. I'm going to pretend that I'm happy. Pretending that you're happy only works for so long. So anyway, I feel like this is a week of, if you think about the fool, that is about leaving something behind, not taking this with you. I'm starting over. I'm, I'm, I'm going my own way. See ya. And you will get new support. You will make new friends along the way. So anyway, I feel some of you are moving. You're moving spontaneously. Oh, you're just saying goodbye. You're just saying goodbye to somebody that has been... It's like an enemy disguised as a friend or an enemy disguised as a lover, you know? This is a one-sided situation with an individual that is, I feel like, emotionally unavailable. They don't support your your emotions. It's almost like they laugh at you. They think you're foolish. So yeah, you have a new beginning here and you're being called to step into new territory with blind faith. And that means leaving something behind. So that is what this week is about. Good luck.